Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. A huge shout out to Daniel Cooper on YouTube, who's just hit 100k subscribers last weekend. It is the perfect time perfect time for me to try the Daniel Cooper resin technique. If you do not know Daniel Cooper, I'm sure you all do, but I'm going to link his channel below anyway if you've not seen him. Now, Daniel Cooper, <laughs> baby lotion in resin technique. I've never tried this before. I feel like I'm the last one on the planet to try it. I've already decanted some of my baby lotion into a squeezy bottle. I'm going to be using the UV resin. I'm going to be using chameleon powders and backing it in black. Now, a new thing for me is going to be linking things in my description box directly. So, here you see my mask, my gloves, and I often get asked what I use. And I do have Amazon storefronts. However, from now on, I'm going to put a few individual links to the key items in my videos so that you're going to see them right at the top of my description box and you no longer have to go searching through my storefronts. I know that that can be a chore for so many people. So I'm trying to make life as easy as possible. But yeah, you'll find my mask, my gloves and everything like that linked below. Okay, now here's the thing. <laughs> I've watched a few of Daniel's TikToks and I rewatched and I rewatched and I was WhatsApping Daniel like, oh, I think I'm doing it wrong and you know, all of that thing. He was excited that I was giving it a go. I've poured UV resin into this mold and before I cure the resin, before this is this is the weird thing for me, like putting things in to wet resin. Before we cure the UV resin, we're going to pipe a design into the UV using the squeezy bottle with the baby lotion inside. This is what we're looking like, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think for one second this would be easy or a piece of cake. I think I've put it off that long for that reason because I was nervous that it was a lot harder than it looks um, and my spiral leaves a lot to be desired but onwards I cracked. <laughs> Next up, now I have cured that so you saw that go under the UV light, that is fully cured. I'm going to wipe the baby lotion off at the end once I've done all of the pieces that I'm going to do. Now next up we're going for the kind of line and drag technique. Now I did ask Daniel, I messaged him and I was like oh I'm going to try the dragging, I think I saw you do that, I'm going to go and watch the video again. <laughs> and I did it and then he messaged back and he said yeah whatever you do don't drag the resin, it will break the baby lotion, just drag the lotion if you can. Well, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't do it. So it, I, <laughs> we got some severed and chopped up baby lotion lines. And this was all part of the fun of trying this for the first time. Next, I just went off plan. I decided to just do some random lines and marks and all of that jazz. And I wanted to try and do some triangular pattern. And at this point, I was cursing. I was cursing Daniel's name. I was like, you make this look so easy. Like, you make this look so easy. I was laughing so much. Like, what in the is this? Because <laughs> I was trying to... I don't know what I was trying to do, guys. I guess I was just having a play, right? This is the first time I've done it and that's okay. You know, there's always a first for everything. But why did my brain tell me that squeezing baby lotion out of a bottle would be a relatively easy task when in actual fact, I got the shakes, like my hands were shaking. I couldn't even pipe a straight line. It was chaos but the one thing it did do was make me laugh and we all need a laugh so here is me trying to <laughs> do some miniature spirals and whilst they do look like spirals again they were kind of like all moving and I was trying to keep my head steady whilst the whole time going you make this look easy Daniel you make this look easy Daniel <laughs> in my head. So yeah, I was kind of cursing him in my head. Um, I did share my results with Daniel and my feelings and my thoughts on everything. Um, this one here, I figured, hey, 
I, I'm, tr I'm trying too hard. I'm, I'm doing too much. Um, let me just do one continuous squiggle. And this one turned out okay. I was quite impressed that my squiggly lines weren't all meeting up and yeah I was I was quite impressed with that one I'm not gonna lie this all then went under the UV light for a solid five minutes I wanted everything as cured as possible before it was time to wipe off the baby lotion now wiping off the baby lotion was the easiest part of this whole project I'm not gonna lie I literally just rubbed over the surface with a wet wipe what I then did was just use a cotton bud with a little bit of alcohol on it just to make sure that all of that baby lotion was fully gone from the surface. Now I am going to use the same chameleon powders that I used in the last video. These are stunning from the Tiny Turner and distributed by Wendy over at Toonpish Crafts. I decided they were right in front of me. I figured I might as well just continue to use them because they are stunning colours and yeah it's time to chameleon powder these babies up. Now I do recommend that you go and watch Daniel Cooper to learn how to do this properly. Um, Daniel knows and Wendy knows we all know that we don't watch each other most of the time because we just don't have the time. We support each other ferociously but we tend to just not watch each other's videos. So for me, I learned from a few of Daniel's TikToks, which are quite short form content. Um, so if you wanna learn how to do this properly, don't follow me, basically. <laughs> basically what I'm saying is, don't do this unless you've watched Daniel's video. Support the original content creator, the original artist who is Daniel, because trust me when I say, <laughs> I, I, could, I couldn't do it properly. If you are here and you did miss the last video, these two colours are unreal. I've never seen chameleons like it. I think Inferno and Poison are the two names of these chameleons. They're like burnt rusty colour and all oh, stunning. Okay, mistake number 27,000. <laughs> oh, guys, I used UV resin black. So this is black UV resin. It's perfect. It works a dream. Um, but two things. I put a bit too much on. It does work generally, but I put a bit too much on and I ran out of the J Diction black UV. So I topped it up with the Let's Resin black UV. I didn't really appreciate just how different these two UV resins would be from each other. They are completely different. We got full on explosion. Now this is also due to depth, no denying it. I put way too much on. And of course it's black so the light wasn't really getting through. You can see the difference. The J Diction one is kind of almost matte and the Let's Resin one is super shiny. They didn't really like each other and we got some implosions and explosions and just don't be like me. Then came the results. <laughs> My initial thoughts were, this looks like worms, <laughs> like actual worms in a lab under a microscope. I was not a fan, but it was only on this one. I realized, guys, they were still tacky, so don't be like me. Make sure you wear gloves when you are demolding any resin, just in case. I ended up having to flip the mold back over and curing the back for another five minutes, because I guess the UV light hadn't quite reached the bottoms. And you can see the difference. The mold is completely clean now, whereas before there was a tacky layer left in the mold, which I hadn't clocked until I felt the UV resin on my hand. So of course I immediately washed my hands. Don't be like me, wear gloves always. This one, I cut. <laughs> I couldn't even, like, what does that even look like? To me, it just looks like a bunch of horses' heads. Like, I was so disturbed. And this one here wasn't horrific, but this was my favorite one. So the squiggly squiggly was my favorite result. It just looks a little bit more like an intentional organic kind of pattern. Um, whereas the one on the bottom right right now just to me looks like horses' heads. The one on the left is giving me flower stem vibes so it's not fully fully tragic but they're all quite tragic as my first attempt now i decided to not quit i removed the metal tip from the bottle so we're going fat we're going fat juicy lines of baby lotion the uv resin is already in there i decided to have another play because there's one thing about me that some of you may know or may not know i am a quitter i there's no doubt in my mind i am a big fat quitter 
if I if I try something and I really hash it up and it is awful and the results are seriously terrible and I struggle with it and the results are just not me I won't do it again I won't try it again I will just tick it off of my I've done it I've tried it didn't like it didn't work for me thing because you know my psyche is saying Claire you're what you weren't good at that don't do that because you're not good at that. It's, it's a true story, guys. I, I am a quitter, but I decided let's not quit this. Let's not quit this. We'll go for much fatter lines and see what results we get. Now, you saw there the lines were a lot juicier and much easier to kind of like just go with the flow and just do these squiggles and see what we get easy again to clean actually so much easier to clean so once I cured it under the UV light um I gave it a really strong wipe down with my wet wipe and a cotton bud with some alcohol on the end just to make sure that the UV resin was super super clean before I rubbed the chameleon powders on I think this chameleon powder is the inferno absolutely stunning now I am still backing it in black uv resin but I'm doing much thinner layers here so you can still see through the black uv resin the pattern on the surface of you know of the of the piece um so I was confident that this time around it would be fine I would just do a couple of thin layers of black uv resin and get a nice all round clean crisp cure on the back which worked a dream this is the second layer going on and again <laughs> I ran out I ran out the reason I'm even using black uv resin in this video is because i've completely and utterly run out of my black polyurethane i used that in the previous video and i was down to the crusty dregs at the bottoms of those bottles um no more left so i do have to get me some more of that but this worked fine i mean it did the job i'm just hitting it with the light before throwing it under the uv light and the results guys yes sticky surface again when will I learn I am doing a voiceover post the video so obviously I should have had gloves on at this point but I didn't I threw it under the UV light to fully cure it and then I top coated it top coating it has brought it in to the most stunning finish I could have ever wished for i am telling you right now i am fully fully obsessed i'm obsessed there's no getting away from it i did have one spill off i got that off real easy it wasn't plain sailing is anyone seeing honey is anyone seeing honey you know the honey dippers the wooden carved honey sticks oh my goodness me or sand, yeah, Sahara sand, where the desert, and it gets all the ripples in the sand. Guys, I love this result. I love this result. I'm so happy I persevered. Like, come on now. Come on now. This is like caviar meets tinned tuna. Like, the difference is unreal. Yes, I could top coat the previous ones I made, but the backs are so destroyed, like obliterated imploded exploded I just don't think they're worth saving but they are worth keeping as a reference um, of what not to do <laughs> what not to do in the future I fully think that the, the one that I tried right at the end with the fat juicy lines is a dream it came out a dream and adding that top coat definitely brought it to life and 100% I see honey. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you to Daniel for the inspiration. And I cannot believe it's taken me this long to try it. He's telling me to try something else now. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to have the will to see this through. But I do want to try that last piece that I made. I want to try something else with that. Nothing new. Nothing new. All Daniel Cooper. Um, I do want to try something else with that because I fell, I fell in love. At that point, I fell in love with this technique. And I really do want to try it again because, again, I don't want to quit on this one. Like, I would quite happily quit on other things. But, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Again, congratulations, Daniel 100K. I can't wait for you to get your button. Like, it's the best day ever. I will see you all in the next video.
Bye.